I feel like the Forerunner taillights have a lot of chrome on them. And I was on the uh, Laminex website, again, they have some good products. And I came across chrome delete covers for the Forerunner. So I decided, well, I'll give these a try. So everything that came with them is, we got the two chrome delete covers. These, I took these out. They were just in there, but those little spots are for the blind spot monitoring system on the Forerunner. So I assume my installation is going to revolve around this, but these tabs will all eventually be cut off. And it also came with like spray bottle. You could put soap and water in it. Small knife and a squeegee. And it also says that you should maybe have like a hair dryer and a lint-free towel also for installation. I don't anticipate this being a hard install, but we'll get started on this. I have cleaned the tail light, which is what I do before I do anything like this. But got the tail light all cleaned up. And this, you're going to see where that hole is. It's for the blind spot monitoring system. So that's definitely where that needs to go. And it doesn't look like it, but it's going to lay down right across there, just like that. You can get these in, I think, five different colors. There's tinted, gun smoke, smoked, charcoal, and red. And I went with the charcoal because I just wanted it all blacked out. And I thought that would look the best. This right here. This is also a Laminex product, but if you guys like these products or whatever, I can put a link in the description down below. It'll give you guys 15% off if you like this. They have all kinds of things for many other cars besides Forerunners. So if you're interested, use that code, share it with people, and you get 15% off. So we'll get started on this. Before I got started on this, I decided I'm going to do a wet install, which will be taking this film off of here, spraying it down with soapy water, because I feel like that'll be easier to work with. But yeah, that'll just lay down there like that. I think the only part that'll give me problems will be this area right here, just trying to get it to lay down and not have bubbles. But this stuff is pretty forgiving, so I think on my other install and on these, when I installed those, you could take them off if you needed to and reapply them as long as they didn't get dirt or anything under them. And these turned out really good, even though the car's dirty. Sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this, which I ripped the paper already, but start peeling this off here. And even as you peel, you don't have to peel it all the way off. You can get to maybe right here. And got a little soapy water. Let's hit that with the soapy water a little bit and then proceed with uh, peeling off the film. So now we have the film here. So we're gonna spray it a little more with the soapy water. You can even spray that too if you'd like to. I don't think it really needs a lot, just, um, but they have these tabs on here, here, here. So we can just start. My idea was to start right here, obviously where the blind spot monitor needs to be covered up, but we can start here and start working this down and into place. So. Let's get rolling with it.
So obviously this side will be the same process, just the opposite side. And I think from last time I maybe used, for me maybe, I used a little too much of the soapy water, so I may use less of that this time on this side. But um, if you do need, if you use too little, you can always add more because this stuff is pretty forgiving. But I think I'll use less because I was having a hard time. It slid around and everything. So just wanted to get into place really good and then start working in all the corners and crevices and basically all the weird angles. So we'll knock this side out and we'll see the finished product. I think everything turned out pretty good. There's chrome inside the uh, turn signal housing, so you are gonna, it is, it's probably gonna look like there's still chrome showing, but the only part I could see is maybe right here, but if you look at it from the angle, and this is black right here too, so it covers up the majority of the chrome. Perhaps that was uh, the installer, which is me, but I wanted to give you guys a look at how you do this, how difficult it is, and maybe how it looks after it's done. So that if you guys want to attempt this, you could, you know, obviously take it somewhere and somebody can do it for you. But it is doable. Just take your time. Don't get flustered. If you need a break, take a break. Come back to it. That always helps me if I need to. But that wasn't necessary on this installation. But it looks pretty good to me. So we'll pull it out and see how it looks outside. This really wasn't that bad of an install you just have to take your time and you know be patient just like with anything else but I think it turned out pretty good taillights nice and blacked out um, I forget how much it costs but if you get on laminex.com you can save 15% with the discount code below and it probably saved me I don't know what the price is of New tail lights around 400, maybe 600, maybe more, but this wasn't too bad and I think it turned out pretty good. So 